Every country aiming for the top is hungrily aiming at the US. China, Russia, North Korea, none is left out. But the US has something they all don't, an advanced sixth generation fighter the world has never seen. This 300 plus million dollar fighter would end any war targeted at the US before the war even has a chance to begin. Packed with an avionics suite that makes it spot targets on the other side of the planet, an armament suite that enables it to strike targets on the other side of the planet, and a stealth suite that enables it to hide in plain sight. This new fighter is an aerospace revolution the world is probably not prepared for. Aerospace Revolution Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD for short, is the program that'll develop the fighter that ensures the next generation of American air dominance, as the F-22 Raptor has done so excellently well for decades now. The new NGAD fighter will be slick and aerodynamic and feature an elongated blended fuselage that completely shatters the laws of physics. Within this fuselage will be three war-defining technological wonders, an AESA radar, stealth, and adaptive cycle engines. AESA Radar The NGAD program is also developing new and advanced active electronically scanned array radars that would power the fighter's sense-all, kill-all advantage. Active electronically scanned arrays, or AESA radars, have many advantages over the previous generation of radars. They cancel out the need to mechanically scan rapidly in different directions. Therefore, they lack all the clunky moving parts of their predecessors making them far more reliable and, in some instances, more compact and lighter. They can scan huge volumes of airspace and large areas of the planet's surface extremely fast, simultaneously keeping track of multiple targets with peak reliability. They complement these capabilities with high sensing resolutions, immunity from electronic warfare attacks, enhanced performance against stealthy targets, and being stealthy themselves. For even better performance, the NGAD fighter will do away with the traditional radar mount for the more futuristic electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. This allows the AESA radar to offer a level of sensor fusion never seen before. By fusing the functions of the sensor, electronic warfare systems, and communication systems into single multi-mode AESA arrays instead of multiple systems each doing one thing. AESA radars alone now have it all. Superfast scanning, spherical coverage, very high power, electronic warfare data, identification friend or foe, precise narrow beam abilities, and wideband capabilities. The data from all the individual functions are combined to form a detailed, seamless, tactical, godlike picture of the battle space. Using such self sufficient AESA radars would make the aircraft system easier to upgrade both in terms of software and hardware. Testing and validating the multiple functions could also be accelerated, at least drastically. Under the NGAD program, that would be particularly useful. NGAD is touted by the Air Force as a program that'll birth an entire family of systems, including the manned sixth generation fighter, radars, unmanned fighters, and so on. Should the manned and unmanned fighters host the same AESA radar family, that would not only allow for far more seamless integration and massive economies of scale, but also could be a boon for maintainers working forward in the field. The commonality of replacement units and parts, as well as having fewer total system types to maintain overall, would allow for simplification and consolidation of critical maintenance tasks. Updating core software would also be a more do one, get one done free situation. It's important to note that this level of sensor fusion is still a fragile concept that requires gifted hands and brains to pull off. But with the benefits it offers and the incredible American talent working on the NGAD program, it's only a matter of time before it's achieved. Stealth. Stealth. The thing that makes 20 ton flying vehicles virtually invisible in the sky is a groundbreaking technology that the NGAD fighter will make the most of. Stealth isn't a single technology that's just installed on a fighter, but rather a set of measures in place that combine to make sure both the human eye of enemy soldiers and radar waves of enemy radars are unable to spot the NGAD fighter as it flies above them silently. 
To be stealthy, the fighter must, among other things, reduce its radar cross-section, its infrared signatures, and its acoustic signature. While the NGAD fighter's exact approach to these is still a closely guarded secret, tucked away in a chest at the bottom of the ocean, calculated assumptions and expectations can be made. Radar cross-section is a measure of how much radar energy an object reflects back to the source. If the source receives a significant amount of radar energy, it knows that some aircraft is in the air. So to avoid being blown out of the sky, an aircraft must return minimal radar energy. In line with this, the NGAD fighter is shaped and designed to have smooth and angular surfaces that deflect radar waves away from the source, rather than reflecting them back. The fighter will have no vertical stabilizers to reduce the number of reflective surfaces. It is the first fighter in history to have such a design. The fighter will also be coated with radar-absorbent materials that absorb or scatter radar waves, rather than reflect them. To reduce the fighter's infrared signature, cooling systems born of the same DNA as the North Pole are used to cool down the aircraft's engines and exhausts to reduce their heat emission. Heat sinks or exchangers are also employed to dissipate the heat by transferring it to other parts of the aircraft or to the surrounding air. In addition to being cooled, the fighter's engines and exhausts are shielded from the direct view of the infrared sensors. And finally, the acoustic signature that must be reduced. Acoustic signature is simply a measure of how much sound an object creates. The NGAD fighter must be dead silent in its operations. One roar, one engine hiccup, or one subscribe to this YouTube channel could be the difference between a successful mission and an encounter with a surface-to-air missile. To keep its acoustic signature low, the NGAD fighter must have engines, propellers or fans, and other technologies specifically tailored for noise cancellation, noise masking, and other noise reduction actions. All of these and more will combine to enable the fighter to access anti-access areas undetected, dance for a few minutes, and then execute its mission. Engine the engine that would power the NGAD fighter is currently being developed in the NGAP program. NGAP, meaning Next Generation Adaptive Propulsion, is a massive NGAD subprogram that's on the hunt for a revolutionary jet engine. So revolutionary, in fact, that almost $3 billion in contracts have been awarded to Pratt & Whitney, General Electric, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, the last three of which do not even build engines historically but they're the most likely manufacturers of the NGAD fighter, so awarding them engine contracts could result in a groundbreaking new type of airframe engine integration. The new NGAP engine will reportedly be an adaptive cycle engine that enables the fighter to toggle between more speed and more range at will, a level of versatility the world had never seen before, but expected nonetheless. Adaptive cycle engine concepts are known to be designed for exactly this. Also known as variable cycle engines, these jet engines are designed to operate efficiently under subsonic, transonic, and supersonic speeds, making them suitable for next-generation military aircraft and supersonic transport. They can switch between high-thrust and high-efficiency modes, allowing them to adapt to different flight conditions and choose between going farther, going faster, or the perfect combo of both. Normally, designers would have to choose a configuration that works best for the fighter in question, but with adaptive cycle engines, the fighter can enjoy the best of both worlds. Adaptive cycle engines today are built using a three-stream architecture, where a third bypass stream can be used to increase the bypass ratio when fuel efficiency is required, or have additional airflow directed to the core when greater power is required. The engines built under NGAP follow this concept. And so, when they enter into service, they would be America's biggest jet engine upgrade of the century. With new AESA radar systems, new tailless stealth designs, and new adaptive cycle engines in the works, combined with an entire arsenal of kinetic and laser-directed energy weapons, all signs point toward an NGAD fighter stealthy, agile, intelligent, and lethal enough to be an undetectable and unstoppable force. The Air Force, through its Secretary Lieutenant Colonel Frank Kendall, revealed that the service's air dominance plan for the future revolves around 200 NGAD fighters, operating in tandem with 300 F-35 Lightning IIs. 
The combined 500 fifth and sixth generation fighters will each be assigned two unmanned loyal wingmen as escorts on missions. Over $4.2 billion has been spent on the NGAD program so far. An additional $11.7 billion will be spent between fiscal years 2024 and 2027. And a lot more billions, at least 40 billion more, will be spent on the program. The resulting fighter will begin entering service around the 2030s to replace the current top air superiority fighter of the world, the F-22 Raptor. The sixth generation of fighter jets is finally here, and they promise to be the most intriguing, most unconventional, and most all-round jaw-dropping pieces of military technology the skies have seen in a long time. To enable them to fulfill this promise, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.